Hey, it's Nate Savage here, and welcome to video five of the Blues Guitar Quick Start series. In the last lesson, we went over the most basic blues riff that you're gonna learn. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to dress that blues riff up a little more to make it a bit more interesting. And this is a great example of what a little creativity can do for your rhythm blues guitar playing. Okay, this riff has the same basic structure as the last basic riff that we went over, but we're gonna add a few notes here and there and a little bit more motion to make things, again, a little more interesting sounding. So, we had, again, we're starting off with a 12 bar blues progression. So the first four bars are gonna be over an E chord, right? So the last one started with just an E power chord. This one's gonna be an E power chord too, but it's gonna be the three note version of an E power chord. So you're gonna grab the second fret of the A and D strings with your first finger. And those are gonna be your first two eighth notes. With the muting in, remember from the last lesson we had the muting. So do that twice, and then you're gonna keep your index finger where it is, put your third finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and play two more swung eighth notes with the muting in there, right? Now leave those two fingers where they are and come down on the fifth fret of that A string with your pinky and play two more swung eighth notes. Now take your pinky off, leave your third finger where it is, and basically that's the foundation riff over your E chord. So you have one and two and three and four. And that's the first measure. After that, you're gonna kind of start off the same on the next measure. You have one and two and. When you get to the third beat of measure two of the second measure, you're gonna play just a regular E power chord. And then we have a little tag riff that we're gonna learn here. So you have, keep your index finger on that B note right there on the second fret of the A. Play that note with an upstroke, and then you're gonna come play the third fret of the low E string with your middle finger with a downstroke, then hammer on to the fourth fret with your third finger. So, so far you have. And to finish this little tagline off, go back to the B note on the second fret of the A string with your first finger. So the whole little tagline is. So up, down stroke, hammer on, up stroke. So that takes care of the two measures of E, the first two measures. So you have. From there, you're just gonna repeat that entire thing. So this is a two bar riff. So if it takes up the first two bars of E, the next two bars in the standard 12 bar blues progression are E2. So you're just gonna repeat that whole thing. Play the entire riff twice. When we get to bar five, we have to switch to our four chord, in this case it's an A chord. So we're gonna apply the exact same idea, but it's gonna be a tiny bit different. I'll show you what I mean. First of all, you're gonna play an A, open A chord, but you're gonna make it with your index finger across the D, G, and B strings. And this time, we're gonna be strumming the inside four strings on the guitar. You're gonna leave both E strings out. But for the first eighth note, you're gonna just play that chord twice, just the inside four strings of the guitar. From there, the shape is a little bit harder, but your middle fingers are gonna come down on the third fret of the B string, and your third fingers are gonna come down on the fourth fret of the D string, and that's gonna be your two and, so two more swung eighth notes here. From there, leave all three of those fingers where they are, come down on the fifth fret of the D string with your pinky, and that's gonna be your three and. For your four and, take your pinky off and play two more swung eighth notes. So that's your whole first measure over the four chord. For the second measure of the four chord, it's gonna start off the same way. Two swung eighth notes for the A. Then put your second and third fingers down for two and. And then on three, hit just the A. From there, you're gonna play the little tag riff to finish off this measure of the A chord or the four chord. 
So, for the two measures over the four chord, you're gonna have this. And that's a lot of information. You're gonna to wanna to take some time to get that under your fingers. Don't feel like you have to have it down all in this video. But once you get to the next two measures, you're gonna have your one chord again. So just repeat the same riff, but this time since it's only two bars or two measures, you only have to play it once. Next in the 12 bar blues progression is the five chord. And for this riff, I just left this the same. It's the exact same thing as the standard or easy 12 bar blues riff. Just go to a B power chord for one measure and play your riff. From there, go to the same A chord shape. We have a four chord coming up, right? So play one measure or what would be the first measure of the riff over the A chord or the four chord. Now we go back to the one chord, so play just the first measure of the one chord riff. Now we're gonna end on the five chord, so go back to your B power chord, and we're gonna start off with the regular five riff, or B riff in this case. But that's all we're gonna play, so you have one, and two, and three, and on three on the power chord, and then just play the little tag riff again to bring you back around to the beginning of the progression. And then you start the entire progression over again. Let me put that all together for you and let you hear what it sounds like over the jam track. This riff is just a little example of what you can do when you mess around with a basic blues riff that we learned in the last lesson. Take some time, experiment with this riff once you get it down and can play it over the jam track and see if you can just you know, change a few notes around, change a few rhythms up and come up with your own riff too. Pull up the jam track, whichever one you think suits you best, 70 beats per minute or 100 beats per minute. Concentrate on getting this groove down, concentrate on your timing. The slower one will probably be a little bit harder to fall in the groove with but it'll be a little bit easier to keep up with the notes. The faster one will be a little bit easier to keep up with the groove, but the notes are whizzing by, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge that way. Thanks for watching this video. In the next lesson, what we're gonna do is switch our focus from rhythm blues guitar to lead blues guitar, and you're gonna learn arguably the most important scale of your guitar career, and that's the blues scale. So if you have any questions, you can leave them here in the comments or email me, nate at guitarsystem.com. I'll see you.